Hey there guys, my name is je 4 d hopefully bringing you a successful League of Legends commentary right now. The previous game that I tried to cast, along with Reiki, who is sat beside me and streaming by the way, there was a lot of disconnects, weren't there? This is hopefully where you come in and agree with me. Yeah, it was a flip problem with that casting, but we managed to cast it live, and now I'm in the game, actually. You are indeed, but if people know me and my channel, it takes me a couple of seconds. Little Gerald the Hamster isn't quite what he used to be. <laughs> so, uh, for those of you who don't know, or those of you who are turning into YouTube just now, uh, this is Nexus Core Team Sweden versus Nexus Core Team Non-Sweden. Obviously, I am rooting for Purple Team, and Reiki is also rooting for Purple Team. No, I'm no, just kidding. I'm rooting course. for the blue team. <laughs> uh, but Team Sweden has a pretty good composition. I have to admit, there's a lot of a lot of area of effect damage from Cassiopeia, Sona Ultimate, Graves Ultimate, as a matter of fact, and also Cho'Gath's Rupture. That's a lot of area. Well, there's a lot of area control. And I think we're gonna see a jungle invade from purple team here. Oh. Excuse me while I just finish loading the game. Just well, in time to um, see this jungle invade, Jazzle jumps onto the face of Capros. Capros has to flash away. Team Sweden is on the retreat, but in the meantime, Shaco boxes all over the place. This game, this red buff will be going to team purple right now. Yeah, really good. Jungle invade from purple team when blue team was out of position. Indeed. But Goku is currently liberating up right now. And uh, for those of you who don't know, NC Goku is in fact Mohawk and NC. Where is he? Uh, not there. That's Capros and Sweelol. That's Hilsa. Ah, Shaco there we go. Is, uh, NC Violent Waffle right there playing as Shaco is in fact Dicardos. So anyway, Purple Team are claiming this red buff and it looks like it'll be gifted or in fact it won't be gifted, Lee Sin will take it as his rightful possession. Maybe we're gonna see gank in mid here early on. Yeah, unfortunately it's only a level one gank, but it still works. He's still hit with the Q and took his lead down to half health with just one combo of Q. Lee Sin is such a strong yeah. jungler. It would have been nice if he got to um, if he got to level two just for that extra cripple and actually what's it called? Tempest and cripple. Yeah. Uh, looking at bottom lane. A Shaco gank maybe from Shaco. Violet Waffle. Indeed, Violet Waffle is hanging around. In fact, there's the there's the stealth. Zarwin may be caught out of position here. He's taking a lot of yeah. damage, a lot of crits. Fade as well. Zarwin Let's going flash. Down. The ignite goes on to Zarwin. This could be first blood right now. No. no. Zarwin, survived. Zarwin just Actually. survives thanks to a health pot. That is luck right there. I'm pretty sure that one more tick of ignite would have secured first blood. Yeah, and really fun to see this much action in the beginning of the game. Absolutely. I have to admit, it was pretty good placement by Goku to hang around and make sure that Zawin didn't get all of the focus. Yes, he, and as again, he is a high elo player and has dominating this scrimmage, yes, actually. He in has indeed. We see wards going down in the river for blue team, and in fact, both teams have warded the other team's lane brush right there, which is, yeah. well, it's kind of interesting. In fact, down goes the stun onto Capros. Chimizuki doing a bit of mallet damage, but right now it's just chips off Graves' sunglasses. Yeah. Just tasting each other off and see what they react and poke. Indeed. Just testing each other. Goku hanging it out in the wing of mid lane. Chimizuki. Sorry. Why did I say Chimizuki? Uh, I'm used to all Shakos being Chimizuki, and I need to get that right and say Violent Waffle. 
Yeah. We have to see here if Goku is going to gank. No? It doesn't look like it. It looks like he's going to go top lane and possibly make something happen with Mycet as Cho'Gath trying to help out Jazzle as yeah. Pantheon. And he's really Actually, out of along comes here. Goku. You may be able to make something happen. There's the stun. There's the Tempest and Cripple slowing him down really far, saving the cube until after the flash. It was good play by Goku, forcing Cho'Gath out of lane. And in the meantime, yeah. in bottom lane, too easy taking loads of damage. I'm guessing from a Q and power cord. In fact, no. Swellow, Sway Lolbat has a power cord saved up just for those emergency occasions. Too easy taking a lot of damage right now. Mm. And here is Shimzuki. In fact, Shimzuki, oh, he will survive, has to flash away. Yeah. So, it has been quite a while. And, well,. I would have expected a first blood right now. We've had that many opportunities and that many close calls. Yeah, but look in mid here is Army is getting harassed by Hilsa. He is indeed. There's the flash. And, and this looks like first blood. No, it's not. Health pot saving Zarwin once again. Wow. Zarwin has been so really lucky. Close game. It is indeed. Goku has to hang around. In fact, Hilsa comment about the luck of Zawin right there, but <laughs> Zawin's retort <laughs> is just legendary. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, you're not allowed to call the boss of Nexus Core lucky. He perfectly planned every single engage when he's left on two health. Yeah. So, it looks like a pretty even fight in top lane right now. Looking at the minions, it's 34 to... what was it? 31. It's actually very even as it goes. Right here, maybe Capros is going down <coughs> on bot lane. Excuse no, me. He will provide Capros that Capros is currently under leveled by one, but a couple of... a bit of XP from minions, which are on quite low health. Yeah, he's be up to level, five. level 5, so... In fact, there we go. The stun on Capra is straight away. A couple of mallet wax, but nothing too dangerous. No. And here maybe we'll see a gank from Shaco in mid. Possibly. Zawin is walking straight towards Violent Waffle. The Violent Waffle just <laughs> runs the other side of the brush. That could have been a close call for Zawin. His lead did have his ultimate up, just in case, but... Maybe something could have happened, but I'm not counting on it. In top lane, it still remains the general poking versus poke action. 41 to 43 minions is still very even top lane. Yeah. In, however, in mid, well, Sarwin is actually thing. farming better than Hisler. Yeah. I'm not sure whether that's just Mordekaiser's general being Mordekaiser and being the amazing pusher that he is but he's actually out farming his lead by not a lot but is still a reasonable amount uh, we see Chimizuki killing mm. wards by dragons and Goku will run we'll straight into here. Violent Waffle this looks like first blood there we go unlucky placement just in the wrong place at the wrong time. In the meantime, like Hisla kills Zawin. Goku is going to go in for it. There's the Q. There's the Tempest. Goku picking up an unofficial double kill. Well played to him, but it was just unlucky placement by Violent Waffle. Wrong place at the wrong time. He did not expect Goku to come walking from the river just straight into his face. Yeah, but that... I mean, you can't call Goku lucky either because he does this every game yeah. positioning and knows every single thing he knows exactly how far Lee Sin can jump yeah. <coughs> hmm. and here is uh, a stun goes on to Capros there's the Q the flash just before the Tempest and Cripple yeah well Goku is currently one of the highest level people in the game he is one of the four level 7 people right now. Actually, excuse me, my mistake. Uh, my sis is level 8 up in top lane. 
Yeah. And we see that Goku also counter jungling. So Shaco may not will get the highest level. We do indeed. Now it looks like Jazzle will need some help. My sit does have his well, he's been level 6 for quite some time. He's already got two stacks of Feast with a minute cooldown, so... Uh, he's got another stack of Feast ready, just available to use. He's probably going to use it as a finisher on Jazzle. In fact, there's the knockout. There's the flash. The Nom Nom doesn't quite oh. finish off a great block by Jazzle as Pantheon's ultimate. And Jazzle will survive the Nom Nom not quite finishing him off. Now, go will we see need amazing play right now to try and escape. Wow! <laughs> well played by Goku. And yeah, Zarman to come along to help. There. And he, he almost picked up a kill on Violent Waffle. Now Zarman's taking the full brunt of... well he took the full brunt of Hisler's stare. Zarman giving chase, Hisler having to flash away. Mordekaiser ultimate still on her. Goku is coming around the side. It doesn't look like we'll get a kill, but in fact we could do. Wow, brilliant play by Goku. A double kill, in fact, yeah. before Goku goes down. And <laughs> here. And along comes Pantheon. There we go. The made. jump onto Sona any second now. In fact, it won't happen. So, a double kill for Goku, and unfortunately, Goku and Zarwin died. But, um. Wow, <laughs> this is a very interesting game right now. Capra yeah. is taking horrendous amounts of damage from two easy silver bolts. In fact, they may consider a tower dive if Jazzle just initiates with a stun. There we go. The ultimate from two easy as well. Oh, look. And wow, Chimzuki goes down to squeal all about. In the meantime, too easy picking up the kill on Graves. To be honest, I'd prefer the money going to the AD carry than it would the support. It would just be better, yes. better in the long run for the team. Yeah. But Still, good job by Sweelo Bat to secure a kill on at least one of the people. Hmm. I'm gonna see Goku and Mesut. I will there indeed. On He's just jumping about all over the place as Lee Sin. Uh, we can expect a slow and tempest any second now, never mind. In fact, Goku gets non knocked up before he gets yelled out by Cho'Gath's mouth. <laughs> yeah. And Wild Waffle is still level 5 and 4 behind. Wow. He is so far back right now. He really needs that level 6 as soon as possible. Yeah. And he's gonna get it now, Rick. There we go. Indeed. So, in bottom lane, Chimizuki hanging around in the brush as, well, to be honest, what do you expect Hilsa. any type of support to oh, do? Oh, they are not going to see Hilsa here when he ganks. Look at that ward. It's tube placement, I think, on Dragon. It is, absolutely. Hilsa going for a lane gank right now. Too easy and Chimizuki have no idea that look at that lane. Absolutely. Violent Waffle taking a lot of damage from Jazzle. Goku is going back in. He won't be able to pick up the kill on Violent Waffle. However, in the meantime, the lane gank is still going on. Zarwin coming round the back and obliterating the rest of Violent Waffle's health. And it looks like they're going to tower dive. Down goes my set. Zarwin picking up an unofficial double kill. Well played to him. The lane gank of Hisler wasn't worth his time, he um, ended up having to go to mid lane. Yeah, and full team is ahead by 2k gold. Not so much at the moment. Yeah, it's definitely not an insurmountable lead, but by the 15 minute mark, 4... well, 14 minute mark I should say, 4 kills to 7 with a 2k gold difference. The advantage is with purple team right now, but it's as I said, definitely not insurmountable. <coughs> blue team think that... Sorry, purple team think that blue team's buff is up. Of course it's not, because Violent Waffle must have 
cleared it out quite a, quite a while ago. Here it comes to see the red. In fact, blue buff has only just respawned. That was either brilliant luck or perfect timing by Jazzle. I would love it for it mm. to be brilliant luck because I'm just not that sure that he knew exactly when uh, Violet Waffle took the blue buff in the first place. Well, so. it's uh, five minutes between after it kills, so if you know when it's killed, it's quite easy. Yeah, absolutely. There's me who jungled a lot also, so... <laughs> yeah, I try and jungle whenever I can, but I always forget about blue golem timings. In fact, Capro's flashed away. Him. He just flashed far enough away to make sure that he didn't get stunned by the impale of too easy. But... Anyway, one summoner down, and I'd say that was a pretty good gank by Goku. If you manage to force a gank, then it's always... Sorry, what am I saying? If you manage to force a summoner, then it's always a pretty good gank. Yeah, and Purple Team is going to get Dragon. In fact, it, they just completely obliterated Dragon at the... Well, roughly 15 minute 30 mark. Zomin taking a fair amount of damage, but the Shroud of Metal will still keep him alive. A poorly timed I'm ultimate by Hisler, I have to admit. Zomin with an Ignite and Poison, he still will survive with about 100 health. Hisler is being destroyed by Goku right now. Not enough damage with the Chunk Norris kick. Now Goku needs to be careful, he will safeguard to the Siege Minion just to survive. Well played to him. So lucky by his luck. I didn't catch the amount of health he had left, but still, so lucky. Yeah, actually, Hilda has been so close to kill off Sarvin many yeah. times this game. But then again, he's Mordecai, so with the force of nature. Absolutely. I Always a good item for Mordekaiser. In fact, along comes Pantheon, right onto Violent Waffle. Wow, Violent Waffle escaping with a slither of health and he went the wrong direction. He had roughly 15 health left and now they're doing a Shaco hunt, which will never go well. <laughs> Just <laughs> ever so again. slightly raging. He will want to rewatch this and see how close he was. Yeah. I have to admit, good use the ultimate, and it very nearly killed him. My sit, my sit may be going down here. Goku is going for the tower dive. He does not have the Chuck Norris kick available, but Jazzle picks up the kill anyway. Goku tower diving and taking a lot of tower damage. Yeah. So, bottom lane, uh, Team Non-Sweden has actually been pushing Team Sweden to the tower pretty much all game long. Uh, the tower is down to roughly a third of its health left. Nothing too serious, but then again, every little helps when it comes to tower damage. Unless you're playing against a Heimerdinger, then it's just plain annoying. <laughs> Capros needs to be careful here. Capros will dive out of the way of a bolt which will still hit him in the back of the feds. Um, yeah. It's yeah, now it's quite... A very not passive so much going right on, now. But maybe Although, we're gonna see Sarah I'm just, go Goku. I'm just going to watch Goku because I think something's gonna happen. Uh, yeah. he's He's going there. Of course, of all places, why, the, why not there? In Little fact, violent, violent waffle. waffle. If you just knew what's going to happen. Oh, ooh. Ouch. We have that seen that looks Shaco painful. We have seen oh. Shaco trap that bush to counter jungle with the, the boxes, but that was counter brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Uh, th that was funny to watch. Down goes the Pantheon Ultimate onto bottom lane. He will pick up a kill on Swilobat. In the meantime, Capros is taking a fair amount of damage, or at least he will be. Too easy gets auto attacking in, and Capros will go down to too easy. Too easy still taking tower hits, but this tower will go down. A 2 0 exchange and a tower. And the top is going to take the tower. He is My indeed. Also. My sit is up to four stacks of feast. We'll have to wait at least two minutes more just to uh, just and to get to while. fully stacked. And now the second tower on bottom lane is going down as well. It's three one tower wise. Yeah, it looks like the purple team is going to take this, cleaning out the jungle, and it's now six co. K gold in difference. Absolutely. Goku just Chunk Norris kicking Swilol Bat over the wall, which is always what you want to see. People breaking the realms of physics just to have a bit of fun. <laughs> in fact, Swilol Bat isn't happy. He was going to give chase, but never mind. Uh, blue buff for purple team is being collected. It well, we will probably go to Jazzle, seeing as Zawin has no need for a blue buff. And he'll say taking the blue buff for his team. Absolutely. A good choice, seeing as the AD carry always needs blue. A sorry, not AD, AP carry. Ability power beats uh, attack damage. Yeah. And as Cassiopeia, you, sp you spam your spells and your opponents yeah. will be awesome. Actually, looking at the farm, Too Easy leads the entire team with 157. Next place is Graves, who, um, hang on, who's Graves? Capros with 149. Actually, looking at mid lane, it's still pretty much consistent, excluding yes. kills and assists. Actually, I'm gonna cut myself off. Oh. Isla gets stunned. Goku's coming in. Good ultimate there, and a great ultimate by Sweelolbat, making sure that Hisla survives. In fact, Jazzle's tower diving a fair amount, as is Zawin, taking up a lot of kill, a lot of damage. Zawin down to very low health. Wow. That was a really good disengage by the Cassiopeia Sona ultimate combo. So, anyway, as I was saying, uh, for the battle for mid lane, uh, Minion-wise, it's actually quite an even fight. Granted, Hisler can push the advantage, seeing as Zarwin is out of the lane, but excluding kills and assists, it's relatively even. 119 to 106. And here six. Goku is going in mid. One versus three. Of course, this guy has no fear. Yeah. Although, the uh, manliest of all supports is heading his way in. Right, Capro's hanging around and the see. Shaco Bait Brush. That's what I'm going to call it from now on. Uh, this tower will be going down, Chimizuki popping his ultimate just to make sure. Uh, pretty good use of it, to be honest, because uh, recently the Tarak ultimate is on such a low cooldown. I believe it's a 60 second cooldown. 56.4 uh, in this case, actually. Uh, Jazzle Sky Jumps, I am not sure where, never mind, he pops to top lane. Nothing too exciting, just defending his own tower. <laughs> so, the blue team is massing up, or at least kind of massing up. My sit is up to six stacks of feast. That's even with the kill that he had, even with the death, I should say, that he had on top lane. Yeah, and if a sugar gets his item up, he can tank for all eternity. He can indeed. Uh, Goku just ran straight into the middle of the enemy team, only to get yelled at and run back out. Yeah. So, purple team could really do with reinforcements right now. But, um... In fact, along yeah. comes Jazzle. He may end up jumping on someone's face right now. Do not jump on Shogath. 
that would be a bad use of focus. Um, in fact, Jim's right, even just goes straight in for Sweelo that support. And here's the wow, loads of ultimates going everywhere. Two kills from, for um, blue team, one kill for purple team. Zarwin is still giving chase along with too easy. Uh, we have Jazzle and, well, Violent Waffle going at it 1v1. Jazzle coming out on top. That was a 2 4 2 exchange. Graves, Capros on very low health, just barely escaping that one. Well, it was uh, his low that went down, which isn't the best move for blue team. Granted, there's not a lot that they could have done about it, but still, they yeah. had a good disengage, or they had a good lockdown combo with the um, Cassiopeia Sona ultimates, but still, the purple team just steamrolled their way through. Took a couple of losses on the way, granted, but um, I think came out on top of that team fight. In fact, we have an AD carry off going on in mid lane, and uh, both sides will disengage. Honorable and honorable battle, one that shall take place at a later date. Yeah, and we see Capros is farming away, and also too easy. Farming away. He is indeed. 176 to 205 right now. In fact, Chimzuki is. He tried to go in for the steal, but. Chimzuki will look like he's going to die right now. He even popped his ultimate. He flashed over the wall. Poison may get him. In fact, the Capro's ultimate will get him instead. Down goes Pantheon, which will jump right on top of the corpse of Tarek. Always a good move. Jumping on your yeah. fallen allies. Um. In fact, Jazzle is thinking that blue team may be able to steal blue buff. They won't. Jazzle will take it, and this is a deadly hey, trap for Capros. Gonna go down now. Capros is now fighting for the enemy team, and that wasn't quite as bad as the Shaco bait brush, but it was still up there. Yeah, I mean, AD carries or squishy, so why face check? It's better that. Uh, Get to it and check if somebody's there. Yeah, they're now using Capros to to tank the turret for them, which um, and now the fifth turret will go down on behalf of Purple Team. In fact, Chimizuki oh. picking up a kill up there. Goku will use minions to finish off his work. Yeah, I completely missed that. I didn't expect that to. Be to be going on in top lane. And we haven't seen a Baron fight yet, so... We haven't indeed. I'm pretty sure that we haven't seen a Dragon fight either. Uh, I believe no. that Purple Team completely destroyed Dragon when they had a good opportunity to. Too easy, taking a lot of poison damage from only one Miasma. Or at least, I believe it's called Miasma. Noxious Blast, sorry, Miasma is the area of effect that keeps on increasing. Right, blue team is thinking about Baron, possibly. At least Sweet Lol Bat will check that it's warded. It of course isn't. In fact blue team are the only team with wards right now. Uh, a couple of offensive wards around the lower part of the brush for purple team and a couple of defensive wards around the blue team blue buff. Yeah, and here is Dragon up, so and Dragon both is team up. Warded. Um, maybe we're gonna see a dragon fight. We could indeed. Both teams are heading around there. In fact, they found Chimizuki out of position, but he has Goku to try and help him. Goku's only level 14, not exactly leveling to boss mode right now. I think that blue team lacks in. Cap closers that purple team has Lee Sin and also Wayne who can come closer without a flash and really Down goes destroy the enemy. Pantheon. Ultimates going everywhere, all three area of effect ultimates. That's in fact purple team are taking loads of damage. Three people go down in quick succession. Goku is very much dead. Zarwin is taking full combo force. Goku just barely escapes. That was a 4-1 exchange in the favour of Team Sweden. 
Yeah, I was a bit surprised there, but uh, also my sit is doing really well as Shogath and tanking a lot. He has indeed. Everyone, and they are going for Baron right now. They are. They Why? don't have an Oracle. They do not know that if Shogath just moves a bit to the right, he could tread on a ward. But there's not a lot going for him to do right now. Violent well, Waffle is split pushing in mid, but... Flash in and it, but he could. It's not going to happen. In the meantime, he's just going to no. kill off Violent Waffle. Or he won't, because Goku's taking a fair amount of damage. In the meantime, Baron has gone to Team Sweden. This is the turnaround yeah. that they really were looking for. Yeah, if they can now go back, shop, get some good items, get a team fight, they will have the upper hand with the. Yeah. Oh, Chizuki, why, why you no lead with stun? Yeah. Uh, Hisler was standing on top of a ward, and there and is violent waffle is stunned there, but the team wasn't there to do anything about it. If it's quite even, if even if it is five difference in gold, yeah, because of the Baron. And what a big show that we are seeing here today. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a fun game to watch. Uh, 12 to 16 at the 31 minute mark, 38.3 gold to 43.7, a difference of roughly 5.3 gold, 5.3k gold, sorry. 53 gold is not much difference. And, yeah, and a tower saying... difference of 3, 5 to 2 in favour of purple team. Yeah, and what I said uh, on the stream earlier, that if you get kills and die, you will feed more. And if we look at Goku here, he ha who has six kills, he had died three times. Yeah. And that's actually... Wayne hasn't fed and Pantheon hasn't fed, but... Actually, three times, that gives more gold than you think. Yeah, it's a good 900 gold just from those deaths, assuming that there weren't any assists, of course. In fact, looking at Team Sweden's assists, you can see that Cassiopeia, Sona, and Graves are all on 7 assists. A lot of team play coming out from Team Sweden. Yeah. That can be a turnaround and for Sweden team, who is still passive with the Baron buff. Uh, I want to yeah. see a fight here, actually. You know, I, I would like to see a team fight, fight just because it's interesting. Yeah. And see Both teams Cho are Gath. being quite passive. Chogath is hiding behind possibly the only bit of wall that's tall enough to cover him. Yeah, and soon Baron is gonna be way so. But. And let's see, and also Cassiopeia has not yet a Rabadons. No, he's so, not. And here is the team fight is going on. Down goes the ultimate from Cassiopeia. Jazzle is going to jump straight in. Uh, Sona's ultimate goes down as well. Goku taking a fair amount of damage. Cat Valp just nom noms Goku. He just nom noms him completely. Sweet little back kicking up, picking up a kill on Shinzuki. And that is an ace Blue for team, team Sweden right there. 5 0 exchange. The and the tables are turned. They have this indeed. The 17 to 16 kills right there. Complete ace for Team Sweden. And there's the aggressive Baron, Baron buff push that you wanted. Yeah. And now we see how big of a difference this assist that you were talking about does for a yeah. team. Everybody gets a little bit of gold extra and now you see a complete ace and everyone survived and really I have to give this to Shugat who is focusing Wayne, focusing Goku so he can't do his spells and really take out their main uh, damage dealer. In fact looking at the assist count all by itself Team Sweden have got uh, I believe, if my mental math is right, 39 assists, wh whereas Team Non-Sweden have got roughly 20, no, sorry, 23. 39 to 23, that's a lot of extra gold. Goku is yeah. on the chase of Violet Waffle, 
In fact, you may pick up a kill on Violent Waffle. Violent Waffle, you escape on so yeah. little health once again. And now we have Goku versus Mycet in a tank off. Pantheon, you're cheating. Yeah. This is supposed to be a 1v1. <laughs> and we also see that, again, Mycet, the Shogat, is trying to help his teammates all the yeah. way with silence and knockups, and that's the reason why Island Waffle is surviving there, actually. In fact, looking at Island Waffle's items and his and his stats, he's got 3.5k gold, but 349 armor on this mainly attack damage based team of Vayne, Pantheon, and Lee Sin. Just yeah. look at the amount of armor he has. He's picked up a thornmail right now, which means we need to quickly oh, check the amount of armor that he has. And he also has a frozen heart with will, which will slow down Wayne and the attack speed and the dragon Absolutely. is going dragon to Absolutely. Dragon has gone to Team Purple. They could do with the gold to finish off their builds with this, with this current team setup. Because it looks like that Team Sweden is in a very deadly position right now. They've got loads of initiation capabilities, they've got a tank to soak up all of that AD damage, and, well, yeah, pretty much, uh, Purple Team need any advantage that they can get just to try and close this one out. Maybe we're gonna see jungle fight here, and there goes Goku. Uh, we could. Goku flashes away, does not get silenced. But taking a lot of damage from auto attacks has to safeguard just to make sure he doesn't pick up any more. And I think the Baron is going to be up soon also. Well, it should be. Jazzle needs to be careful here. In fact, he doesn't have to be careful because he's recalling and it's always a good move. Yeah. In fact, down goes the Shirelius Revelry. Zarwin just goes straight in. Hisler taking loads of damage. Down goes Pantheon, who jumps onto Cho'Gath's yep. face. In the meantime, Capros is split pushing. They're giving chase onto Hisler. Zarwin is trying to keep up as fast as he can, but that Riley's Crystal Scepter is going to keep Zarwin at bay. In the meantime, Goku picks up a kill on Cho'Gath. Their tank is down, and now Team Sweden are in a very delicate position right now. Team Purple need to yeah. press the advantage. Yeah, but also you see that the tank is going down, they still have the carries alive, so... They do. Ra they need a rather good the tank engage. Then the here is gonna be Baron. Purple team are going for Baron, maybe Wyland Waffle will smite it. Yeah. Uh, and he there won't be a smite, but... There was the <laughs> violent waffle would be completely destroyed, as will Sweelolbat. Sweelolbat using the ultimate to try and, well, help out violent waffle in any way. But in that exchange, it was three nil for Team Non Sweden. Yeah, and now we see that purple team has the Baron buff and maybe can take the advantage, but still. Purple team needs to push their lanes. They do. That's um, the bad situation with Baron Buff. If you need to push your lanes, it you, will. You can't because they could be lurking around the corner and pick up an easy kill on your corpse. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, like Wayne there doesn't know where the ward is. They can easily go for her now, but. They are playing safe, Sweden, Team Sweden here. Yeah, it is a pretty Who good move to do, has seeing more as... more turrets now. They do, six turrets to five. And, um... Mycet will be trying to get the Cho'Gath Feast stacks all the way up to six once again. Get that nice health buffer back to its full potential. He hasn't, all... he hasn't actually bought any type of health items as yet. We could see a late game Warmogs just to stick an extra nail in the tank of Cho'Gath. Uh, yeah. And we He's also good. see that uh, Lee Sin has his... Uh, oh, he has really his Quicksilver Sash because of the silences and knockups. <laughs> Absolutely.
So um, both teams are pinging exactly where the other teams are. And yeah. both teams hang around each other's zone and Goku hang around in the brush. It's unlikely that they're going to engage right now. Sweet little bat. Level 14. Um, in the meantime, there is a Shaco box there, which will fear Goku and not initiate a team fight. In the meantime, yeah, if they go into that brush, then they will die. They've managed to pick off Shaco on his own right now, and Goku will pick up the kill right there. That was unfortunate by... Um, what's his name? Violent Waffle. I'm still getting used to calling him Vico Violent Waffle. I want to call him Dark yeah. Cardosan. Yeah, I feel the same there, but also we have seen Hilsa here who is, has 345 ability power and the Rabadons to yeah. have more sustain. No, I mean uh, Rod of Ages, sorry for Absolutely. that. Absolutely. And um, also the Well of Ancients doing a nice amount of spell vamp. Seeing as he's got so much ability yeah. power and his Q is so spammable, then Well of Ancients is such a brilliant move. Yeah, and I think we're gonna see Rabadons next here, or maybe Void Staff for that magic penetration. Possibly. Uh, Zarwin has got a lot of nullification. He's up to 260 armor, 140 magic resist. That's very tanky. Mm. So. Goku's going to take a tower hit and then instantly dive out. Perfect play by him. Yeah, and the bear off is soon over, so this will go even out soon. <laughs> In. Hang on, I really wasn't paying attention. When did when did Team Not in Sweden get Baron buff? Holy moly! Uh, never mind. Zawin needs to be very careful. Zawin He's being chased by Violet Star. Waffle and therefore the rest of the entire team. Goku will have to come along and help out. In fact, Zawin may just turn and fight. In fact, Goku is Maybe there along with the rest of the team. Here. We could see a team fight. There isn't much initiation by Purple Team apart from the Tarak stun. Or Violet Waffle getting pounced on. Yeah, this team, they won't initiate. Too easy picking up another dragon. He should really keep a personal score of the amount of dragons he's personally slain. Yeah, I think the purple team has taken every dragon this game so far. Yeah, and that has partially created such a big gold difference. Roughly 8.4k gold difference. That is... Massive. That's two Trinity forces. If but I've still got it's the cost even right. game. It is and one good team fight or one ace for either team, and it could completely turn tables. Yeah, and the Baron is gonna be up soon. I think about forty-four or forty-three here. Yeah. A purple team are pinging in and around the drag. Sorry. Baron area, knowing that something's going on. Many wards. Uh, they don't. Where They've got the one wards? offensive ward near the blue team. Oh, blue actually, buff they got one at the other team blue. We do but indeed. Team Sweden is. Team Sweden is having one on dragon, one in mid lane, and somewhere else maybe. Yeah. And Team Sweden is going for a push, maybe? No, they are going for the blue buff. Which, well, there's nothing that Purple Team can do about it at all. It's just going to be destroyed so quickly. In fact, there we go. An extra 80 gold to his lair, and everyone's going to hide in the brush. This could be a trap, although Purple Team will not fall for it. They, they are quite an intelligent bunch, Purple Team. Yeah, but actually they have a... They are going to wait for them. 
while purple team is going to push. Purple team is just going to go straight down the middle. Blue team is very much out of position. Granted, Violent Waffle and Mysit, and now Hisler are recalling. They may be able to take a turret from this. It would be nice yes. if they could. Goku is going to tank. Down goes Shirelia's revive. Down goes the Chimizuki ultimate, and that tower is absolutely annihilated. The Shaco box won't do anything. Down goes an inhibitor as well. Wow. Zarwin taking a lot of a lot of damage from that double double fang, is it? I'm really not a Cassiopeia mm. player. Yeah, twin fang, my uh, twin fang. Actually, and here is the Baron, and I think we're gonna have a teammate here. We could Baron. indeed. Uh, both teams uh, hanging around. Riot. Violent oh. Waffle. Did you bait? You probably did, you sneaky Shaco. Goku is caught off by Mysit and everyone. Although, being Lee Sin, he can just jump straight back into the fight as he did right there. Cassiopeia taking a fair amount of damage from Jazzle. Now Jazzle's being focused. Jazzle and Cassiopeia go down. Down goes the ultimate from Sona, picking up four people with the dance party. Goku will be going down any second now. In fact, he won't because of Guardian Angel. Too easy, picks up a kill and then dies. Cat Valp may go down to the Zarwin ultimate. It's unlikely the health buffer will probably make him survive. Zarwin doing as much damage as he can, but he just can't do anything. Goku. And once again, Goku is wow. surviving. And that turns the table again. It does indeed. 21 to 22 kills. There is a just under an 8k god advantage for um, for Team Non Sweet. <laughs> Look at Violent Wolf there. He's <laughs> poking Wayne. Indeed. Uh, actually, having a look at Vayne, he has got... Does he have any lifesteal? Uh, he has a Wriggles Lantern. And, and the, with the Phantom Dancer well. and... Wow. Yeah, and we see against Angel also on Wayne. Yeah, with that amount of lifesteal and that amount of attack speed, then... As soon as you go down, if you don't get burst immediately, then... Well, you can just lifesteal all the way back up to full health. And look at Wayne's minions, 314. There's a large well, amount Capros of minions right is, there. Yeah, Capros is 297, not behind either, but has the 12 assist. Indeed. Uh, Tarek is the so, only person on Team Purple with a large amount of assists, as in over 10 assists. <laughs> Whereas... For Team Sweden, they've got the three same people who are playing as great teammates. They think that Hisler is out of position, although instead they'll just run into a smoke screen. Yeah. We all fell for that on times. And now, a possible Baron team fight right now. Uh, Graves is hanging around. They really need Cat Valp to initiate. Baron hey, goes down. Ultimates going everywhere, tons of damage all over the place, Guardian Angels going down, Mordekaiser picking up a kill, Zarwin picking up a double kill, I'm surprised by that, Zarwin picking up a triple kill, and that is how the boss man plays, lol. Goku is still giving chase, down goes Pantheon just to try and help, he may be able to pick up his lair, it's not gonna happen. Wow, and what a Baron fight. Maybe the final push. Maybe I think indeed. It's the final push. The inhibitor is down, there are only two people alive left. It will be a good 35 seconds until um, Sweelol Bat ends up respawning. This tower will be going down any second now. Chimizuki should use his ultimate, there we go. Tower goes down, Vinyl Waffle trying to pick up a kill on too easy, not going to happen. Just going to get completely focused by everyone. Okay. Chimizuki goes down to his left, but. Hisler has nothing left in his arsenal. He's taking loads of damage. Vayne picking up a kill. There we have it. There is the end of the game. And what a game it was. Yeah, yeah it was a really nice game. Even turns the table. And non-team Sweden. Absolutely. Um, brilliant play by both teams. And... They were 
there were times when Team Sweden could have had it, but it just kept yeah, on turning tables. So why didn't they go for Baron when they had that four kills for not for one? Uh, I'm would... not sure it was respond at the time, but um, it I was, could be I wrong. Like, why are aren't they going for Baron and then they let Blue Purple Team? get back to life and they didn't push, they didn't do Baron, they just waited. Absolutely. And uh, Violent Waffle wants a rematch. He, I bet he does. So have you got any final thoughts for the game? Well, the most event came with a lot of actions and it was a blessing to watch this. It's a great game, game to actually. watch. So, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video, my name is JE4DE, if you like it, please favour, subscribe to my YouTube channel, all of that stuff, it's so nice when I get a subscriber, but anyway, if you'd like to be part of these NC5v5s, you could be part of Team Sweden or join the resistance against Team Non-Sweden, um, then there will be inf information on my channel homepage, but for now, I'm JE4DE. My co-caster for today was Reiki. Yeah, goodbye, guys. And uh, it's goodbye for me. I'll see you next time.